we keep discussing in this that um, building a club, building a club, building a club. Take that out of the vernacular. We didn't build a club. We built a destination that people who don't necessarily affiliate themselves with the club want to go to collegians because we built something different. We built something they're happy to take their mum to. They're happy to take their children to. They want to dine here. They want to be part of it. Not necessarily a club. It's in the name, but we build different. we were trying to develop new delivery of new food spaces that uh, would broaden our appeal in using some underground space that was available to us. We've created a 140 seat uh, pizza rib steak restaurant. We have a very beautiful private dining room for 16. Uh, we have uh, three separate seating and set up zones within that one zone. Uh, that now adjoins our refurbished um, Bar 67, which we have developed on the line of large scale small bar. It's, it's, it's dark, it's intimate, it's tastefully furnished, uh, very much a, a cocktail bar for after dinner, and we're seeing great flow from, the, from Factory, which is our pizza ribs restaurant, through to that bar after people have dinner. On our main floor, uh, given that we uh, expanded to the south, we've created a, a 300 seat um, brasserie uh, called Kitchen on Charlotte. It's all very much an industrial fabric of um, polished concrete, um, timber, warm, comfortable, uh, with a fairly wide range as you would expect in a, a large scale operation. And our little edge that we've just recently opened is our fish and chip shop called Six Fish. Uh, Six Fish is actually built in what our original kitchen space was and, and the, the beauty of the job with Six Fish and being the last stage is that we were able to continue trading right through with our main kitchen until the handover of our new dining areas and we were also able to have continuity for every day that the builders were here and during every part of demolition. So we were able to just keep trading. is that New England understand our major delivery points where they may seem strange strange requirements, but the fact that we, we want new places for Melbourne Cup, we want things ready to trade through Christmas, we want things ready for whether it's the Easter period that are our major trading periods, which are our largest days of the year, they really understand that we're not joking when we say we want to be done by this date. And whether it be a new zone or a changeover, they can, they've made it, they've ticked the box every time, they've been able to get us delivery of spaces when we've said we've needed those spaces, which is really key to an ongoing relationship because, you know, it, they bend over backwards to try and get what we want delivered and I guess that's what keeps the relationship going over so many years when, you know, New England have dealt with collisions for the last 20, well, the last 20 years and as a minimum, but it, it's just an ongoing relationship that works well. really quite surprising that in a, a short period of time um, what was a 
pizza bar on the main floor that's now pizza rib restaurant on the lower ground, which we've had to, to build beautifully enough to draw people down those stairs, and we know that's hard. But revenue in this area has gone up 120% since um, Melbourne Cup Day 2015. We have had our six fish fish and chip shop open. It's hitting revenue targets in its first three weeks. Um, we're two weeks after completion and we're hitting record uh, catering revenues. So every every improvement to the business and the profitability that's happened at Collegiate has come about from innovation change and building something new. Nothing stays the same.